Hey everybody, welcome back to Runaway Trains. Today, what do we have, Drake? Steel Trains Norfolk Southern Steel Coil Car. Lately, we've been into these steel coil cars. We've been seeing them on other channels. Uh, real freight trains, for instance, on Jawtooth's channel, right? Yes. And we don't see these much around where we are in California. But we really love this design and the style. So we started out with this harbor, which we've had for a little while. And then recently we got this Milwaukee Road kit, which was what, an Athern or? No, it was, it was a, a Walther's. I Walther's. Think, right? And then we saw this scale trains uh, at our local store. And it's a Norfolk Southern. And we're kind of excited to open it. Why don't you get started on that, Drake? Particularly, I think we were really interested in this because it came with the coils, too. Yeah. And we see a lot of the NS, Norfolk Southern stuff when we watch some of the channels from around the country. That's what it looks like. And it's got like that rounded cover to it. Almost looks like a tanker car, huh? Yeah. You got spare parts. Okay. And they also tape it closed. They so tape it up pretty good. There we go. You kind of have to break the tape. And I just have to do the other side. There we go. I like how they wrap it with that plastic to keep it nice and safe and everything. And oh, look at that. Inside, it's like got a wooden interior on both sides too on both sides yeah you know like on our other cars over there they're just black on the inside but look at this it's like wood and is it real wood it looks like it's no, it's plastic oh, so cool i'm noticing around the edges there that catwalk is made out of metal yes actual metal you want to show the underside, Drake? Is there a detail underneath? All that underbody detail. Kind of hard to see because it's black, but I do see a lot of plumbing down there, lots of parts, maybe separately applied parts. It's scale trains. Scale trains, quality trains, metal wheels. How about the couplers? What do we have for the couplers? Uh, they look like plastic to me. Is that their standard coupler? Or? It looks like their standard coupler. I wonder like if they offer like an upgraded version of that or something. Like uh, a nice, uh, what, what are those like uh, the whisker couplers that Katie we do? Couplers. Katie couplers. I wonder if there's like a Katie replacement if you want. I don't know. From what I remember, the scale trains are really high quality and shouldn't have a problem with that. But what about those coils? They feel pretty heavy. Yeah, they have some weight to them, huh? Yep. Get a close up if you can see. It, it feels like it maybe it has like a plastic exterior, and maybe there's weight on the inside of it. Like a metal weight. Metal weight. Uh, the end here, you can see there's a little bit of detail. You can see like the coiling. That's pretty cool. I always wonder, like, when we see these real trains. Uh, what they're going to use the steel for. <laughs> Any idea, Drake? No. No? I think maybe they're taking them to the mint and they're going to, you know, make some quarters or dimes out of it. Or maybe they're bringing it to, uh, like, an auto manufacturer to make uh, side panels for cars. Or, I don't know, maybe I'm dating myself. That's like the 1970s when they used to make them out of metal. But um, perhaps, uh, I, I don't know, maybe they're going to make corrugated steel for uh, roofing or something. <laughs> Let's put some of those in the in the trains themselves and see how they sit there. Can we move this shelf? They have to sit like that. Yeah, that's cool. Mm. Let's try that one. I know we want to be able to use these with the other cars. And Milwaukee. 
will the lids fit on those other uh, coil cars? Because like this one, the NS has a rounded cover, but these are those more like angular. Well, no, it doesn't quite uh, not fit. Not really. It doesn't really fit over the coils. So, not mm, quite. It, not you can quite. Kind of see it's sort of like up on the end there. But how about we uh, put the cover on the NS and see what it does? Yeah, nice. that one fits. That's good. You know, they're not going to like sell you something and it's not going to work, I guess. So that's a good thing, you know. I just noticed also on the ends, of, on the sides of these uh, covers, let me see if I can get a good shot here. There's actually like hand railing there, really fine. Can you see that? And then all the lettering is very cool on this. Uh, something else I noticed, Drake, uh, this NS Norfolk Southern, right? But on the box, let me grab the box for a second. On the end there, it says Norfolk Western, NW. And there's a car number on there. But that NW also appears on the end of the coil covers. I don't know. What do you say we bring it over to the layout and give it a run? Check it out. Hey, it looks like we got it here on the track. That's cool. You left one side open so we could see the coils. Yeah. And of course, I chose my GP15-1 to pull the push the train. We have some uh, foreign power over here running on the NS line. That couples up real well. It's nice. You know, something I noticed when we were putting these on the tracks, you know, we started with the harbor and then we put the Milwaukee down and when we picked up the NS from the table to bring it over here, it's really heavy. It's got a lot once of weight you to put it. The weight, once you put the coils in, it gets heavy. Yeah, which is good, you know, give it some traction. Yeah, so if it's going to be up like a, like a grading on our layout, which like over there, like the 3% grade, no pro it won't have any problems because it's a heavy yeah, way, car. Yeah, way back there you see our little bridge going up over uh, before the tunnel there. There's a, like a 3% grade there. Why don't you go ahead and we'll run it. We'll see how it does on the grade. Okay, just got to make sure. Anybody else out there got this uh, scale trains steel coil car? You go ahead and leave us a comment. Tell us, tell us how you like it. I have to stop the train up there to close the switch. We got a switch that was open from earlier when we pulled out those other coil cars from back there. Okay, there we go. And, uh, we got to walk around and get under the table over there and come around. <laughs> Going backwards, going the wrong way. And the Norfolk Southern car activates the signal because it has metal wheels. Give it some power. Okay, well there you have it, the Norfolk Southern 
Scale Trains coil car. So we just want to say thank you for watching Runaway Trains. We'll see you on the next run.